When Montana's wildlife restoration work began, the effort was simply to put animals back on the landscape. Then, biologists recognized the importance of quality habitat. And so next, hunters, biologists, and landowners began securing prime wildlife winter range for the survival of the animals and to help reduce wildlife impacts on private land. What they didn't know then is that they were also anchoring major elk migrations. We've looked at over 173 animal movement studies and recent advances in new technologies such as satellites and GPS units has enabled biologists to determine the exact routes these species take. And some of the most spectacular findings are long distance movements by deer and elk. For instance, elk have been documented to move 125 miles on their annual migration mule deer bucks that some of them migrate clear across the Bob Marshall and Great Bear Wilderness to Ear Mountain, Blackleaf on the Rocky Mountain front. For moose, we've had long distance of up to 50 miles. One of the most surprising migrations is for white-tailed deer. Most people do not realize white-tailed deer migrate in the West. The longest migration we've documented, it's almost 44 miles. What this new data, what this new information allows is biologists can work with private property owners, federal agencies and tribes to conserve these important areas where these species move back and forth between summer and winter range. At times, migrating wildlife tear up private fences. Fish, Wildlife, and Parks has a publication titled A Landowner's Guide to Wildlife-Friendly Fences. These are available at any FWP office, and there's some tips in here that'll help you out. This is Mike Gurnett, out with Montana's Fish, Wildlife, and Parks.